then only will formation of chlorine all of you draw the formation of chlorine fast how do you chlorine how many chlorine atoms two chlorine atoms so molecule of chlorine okay molecule chlorine molecule so one chlorine atom i will take so how many valence electrons valence electrons seven. Not... valence seven. seven so all should represent seven like this your choice either dots or cross whatever it is convenient for you you can follow so now like this only will come is it right or wrong so when they will combine chemically which bond will form single bond or double bond all of you single bond single bond will form and lone pair of electron unpaired pair of electrons how many remaining three pair three pair if you are not representing this three pair your entire answer is wrong it to depict the structure it has to be marked all the valence electrons valence electrons not valency valence electrons if no valence electrons extra you don't need to mark it so single pair so the structure how it will come c cl single bond cl but you should represent all the unpaired share of electrons that is what the structure hope everybody clear that is sure. so this is what about it now i want to teach you the two statements which are very very important that is what i hope you somebody of you studied or somebody might be not now my question is i lost the question try to answer to my question why a carbon is forming always four and compounds why can't it can receive four electrons and become stable in nature why can't it lose its four electrons to become stable in nature this is what my question for example if i will consider all of you observe can you understand my question clearly mr raja kamar girls yes sir yes any doubt durga alana please uh, uh, ask uh, understand the question mr rahul can you hear me understand the question why always carbon sharing the electrons why can't why can't by loss of four electrons by loss of four electrons it can attain a carbon four plus cation is it right or wrong All of you should answer. Yes, please. Hello, Kill Pradosh. Do you understand it? Why can't it become C four plus ion by loss of four electrons? Or why can't? Why cannot by gain of four electrons? It can become C four minus which ion? Anion, cation. C four minus. and i am so that is what my question anybody is having answer please let me know. yes please sir sir the carbon is sir, small yes mugesh is telling let it be right the bonding electrons we can consider as sir, the loss and the electrons which does not bond we cannot consider as dot oh uh, mugesh you cannot mugesh one atom should be represented in one format understand mugesh okay sir if you are taking suppose hydrogen if it is bonding or not bonding all should be in dots or all should be in cross if you are taking chlorine if it is bonding or not doesn't matter all should be in dots or all should be in cross okay mugesh okay sir now that's fine all of you observe the question very carefully this is very very important question why can't they, i am asking you the question why can't by loss of four electrons what is tell me what is atomic number of carbon all of you what is atomic number of carbon carbon six. atomic number atomic number is 6 so what is electron configuration everybody k and l comma 4 comma 4 so if loss it will attain the nearest electronic configuration of whom helium nearest helium, helium. now Again, K comma L, two comma four. If gains four, gains four electrons. Understand? Then it will become the nearest electronic configuration of whom? Neon. 
neon neon no gains means it will forms carbon 4 minus anion understand all of you now if it is loss means it will it will become c4 plus understand it then it will become cation now why it is not happening anybody sir the nucleus can't hold uh, electrons very good so that is what it is saying so observe very carefully here nucleus is very very important very good rudreshwar so the reason is behind observe first reason let us go with the positive or negative which one you want this one or this one your choice but yeah rudreshwar i think you are only answer is it as rudreshwar but both it is not the same reason do you understand mr rudreshwar i will say it. sir for gain now yeah. jump on the let us start the anion now if i if i will add i will add four electrons then in valence cell become how many electrons all of you should tell me if valence cell become how many electrons eight. eight electrons but number of protons are how many guys number of protons are how many six protons so six protons cannot hold cannot hold eight electrons in its valence cell eight electrons in valence cell is it okay guys that is the reason it cannot gain the electrons are you clear girls any doubt no sir that is so it cannot hold eight electrons if we we'll add four electrons understanding it cannot hold eight electrons which one as it is nucleus is having only six protons six protons cannot hold the eight electrons in its valence cell so it is not possible to form the anions next coming to the cations now remember as i told you carbon is extremely smaller in size small in size so that the nucleus the binding force by the nucleus surrounding by the electrons which are present in valence cell how many electrons are present valence cell all of you four, four. so the nucleus is very like you can see as the size is very small the nucleus is exerting huge force on its four electrons so it is required huge amount of energy to remove the electrons so because nucleus is holding very tightly that is why we cannot remove four electrons and will never form cations are you clear all of you yes so that is why instead of donating or receiving it will be always will go with the what guys it will be always will go with the what yes cations sorry it will be for go with the sharing of electrons now due to this reason why i am saying means now basically all the covalent compounds observe very carefully they are having the low melting point and boiling points because only one reason because what is the reason guys they cannot form the ions what ions they cannot form everybody what ions they cannot form cations and anion it is not possible to form by the covalent compounds that is why they have low melting points and boiling points for baller dia please respond yes ionic compounds only they are having high melting and boiling points because of they can form the ions here covalent compounds they cannot form ions that is why they have low melting and boiling points so hope everybody understanding clear guys so in our book we will be having in a first page after the tabular column of course i will say this also this tabular column is also very very important so a uh, melting points and boiling points of some compounds of carbon they have given so acetic acid also we can say ethanoic acid so please remember so the boiling melting point and boiling point they have given in degree kelvins same way chloroform ethanol and methane see that how they are having low melting points and boiling points because of only one reason what is the reason behind because they don't have they do not consist of what they do not consist of ion 
only they will form by sharing of electrons. So even based upon this melting points and boiling points also, in exam, they will ask you, they will ask you the question, what is the compound based upon the melting point? This tabular column is one of the most important tabular column, which all of you should learn. Okay. Now, here you'll be having the both two points. Why can't it will form anion? Why can't it will form cation? So please highlight this both and learn it the exam they will ask you also perfectly how to write the same answer okay so whatever we studied the exactly it will be same so kindly learn it and highlight it so this is what about it so is there any doubt anybody please let me know or else please write general properties of covalent compounds we all studied the ionic compounds. Do you remember ionic compounds and covalent compounds already we studied the properties in metals and non-metals yes Mukil? Again, just for fastly we are studying, right? General properties of covalent compounds. If you'll finish this today, tomorrow we can go with the allotropies of carbon, then directly we'll go to the hydrocarbons. That is what my target also. So we finish it fastly. General properties of covalent compounds. First property, guys, physical state. Physical state. Now you tell me, covalent compounds are what state they are present? Liquid state or solid state or gaseous state? Anyone? Yes? All of you, they are present in solid state, they are present in liquid state or even gaseous state also. Okay? But everything will consider at what temperature? All of you. At room temperature. Room temperature. Room temperature. That is very important so that is what you all should remember so room temperature so example it will give example of uh, gases can you give the gases which are example gases ammonia gas carbon dioxide gas methane gas this all examples of gases now now liquids Liquids, the well-known liquid. What is the liquid well-known for us? Water. Water. Same way, solids. Solids example, you can take wax, glucose, sucrose, this all examples of solids. So physical state is the first property. Second property, Melting and boiling points, as I taught you just now, the tabular column and as well as melting and boiling points. So now you tell me, melting and boiling points, low or high? Low. Low. Because they do not form with the what? Ions. Rotating or healing. Understanding? Ions. So, but still, the compounds formed by the carbon are what? Stable or unstable? Stable. Stable. Because stable. The nucleus will bind it very tightly. That is your remember. So melting and boiling points. Covalent compounds do not consist of ions. Rajagan, understand? Ra? Yes, sir. Covalent compounds do not. Sai, understand Sai? Consist of ions. So their boiling and melting points are low. Okay, next, third property, solubility. Now you tell me, all the coal and compounds, they will soluble in water or non-water substances, like other substances, like we know that they are called as non-polar substances. I already taught you also in metals and non-metals. Solubility, tell me, they will soluble in water or other than water? Yes, please. Solubility, they are insoluble in water. Please remember, insoluble in water. But of course, some compounds are there. Example, anybody? Glucose, sucrose. Basically, I'm saying, generally, coal and compounds are insoluble in water. Okay, but some will be soluble, like uh, glucose, sucrose, and sugar. This can be. Generally, I'm saying, insoluble in water, and they are soluble in, they are, soluble in 
नॉन पोलर सॉल्वेंट्स एग्जांपल लाइक कार्बन टेट्राक्लोराइड दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम इट इज कमिंग ऑलरेडी लास्ट चैप्टर इट आर थी कार्बन टेट्राक्लोराइड बेंजीन डू रिमेंबर मैत्रेयन बेंजीन एसिड एसिटोन CH3COCH3 is called as acetone please remember or also we can called as propanon propanon acetone or propanon both are same so etc these are called as non polar solvents so in these solvents only covalent compounds will soluble basically but some covalent compounds will soluble in water also they are not like exemption they are uh, generally it is okay so i am saying it so this is what it is next last property is electrical conductivity electrical conductivity so tell me they are good conductors or bad conductors everybody bad conductors Yes, bad conductors. They are bad conductors. They are bad conductors of electricity because of what reason? All of you. They are not made up of ions. Yes, bad conductors. Bad conductors of electricity because of only one reason. Because of absence of ions. Okay, that is what I am talking about. okay guys so this is what about uh, all the things so once four properties over i want to show you something then uh, it will be we will wind up today's class then tomorrow we will study the allotropes of carbon and also the states of uh, that is what uh, allotropes of carbon and as well as occurrence of carbon free state and as well as in combined state later we will finish the allotropes at maximum tomorrow and later we will go directly to the hydrocarbons is it okay guys yes please so now let us comes to here is it completed everybody okay now see that by tomorrow what you have to do means in ncert by tomorrow means whenever you are free when you are traveling in bus or some other time you all please uh, read till here till where till methane structure this allotropes of carbon we will study for tomorrow and till here we studied now so this is our last property so no charged particles are formed means no ions will form that is why such covalent compounds are generally what we can say they are the poor conductors of electricity so till there we completed today so electron dot structures and after that versatile nature also we studied in the last class so other than this tomorrow we will study this one on organic compounds now what you have to do other than this uh, about this one so whenever you are free you have to read till here everything now all of you just we have let me take 2 minutes kindly read this all the last paragraph this is one in this one question they will ask you. can you tell me what is the question we can form from this most important competency based question we can form here anyone read the question everybody read loudly that is what till here please i have completed by tomorrow reading everything see that such bonds which are formed by the sharing of electrons sharing of an electron pair between two atoms we used to call it as what bonds guys we all know what bond it is covalent bond covalently bonded molecules are seen to have strong bonds within the molecule within the molecule but intermolecular forces are weak or strong weak or strong weak. that is why they have low melting point at boiling point do you understand everybody they appears to be strong they seem to have strong bonds within the molecule but basically the force of attraction between the molecules that force of attraction only we used to call as intermolecular forces they are weak or strong they are weak that is why they will gives rise to the low melting point at boiling point of this compounds that is the reason behind why the covalent molecules are having low melting point and boiling points because 
the intermolecular forces are weak even though they appears to be they they have seen to have a strong bonds within the molecule but they appears intermolecular forces are very weak that is the reason behind you understand everybody so these are the general properties of course the solubility alone some some coal and compounds will soluble in water but most probably they will never soluble in water so that is what we have to remember it so this is how it will be happening and uh, please uh, learn this one all the things and even here methane presence they have been mentioned methane is widely used as a fuel as a major component of biogas and compressed natural gas they might be asked you question in which fuel methane is present major percentage so down they will give cng lpg like that substances so lpg contains remember butane is the highest percentage and cng contains always methane is the highest percentage so that is the reason cng is more even better than lpg because methane calorific value means producing heat capacity is more than butane so that is why um, cng is very powerful than lpg liquefied petroleum gas hope till here everybody will read so with this let me stop today's class and from here we'll continue in the tomorrow's class thank you everybody have you all understand any doubt please let me know clear mr kadri rohit yes sir thank you everybody we'll meet in tomorrow's class